It has been 78 suns since that fateful decision. I vowed to start anew, and my persistence has finally led me here. I had contemplated this journey ever since the Apposites conscripted me into their camel course. I risked my neck for them, and they rewarded me about as well as I could have hoped. Those of us true to our traditions are publicly mocked and taxed beyond our means, while the conformists discuss politics over a fine plate of bread. I could be dining with them right now, but I am no intellectual, just a humble man, desperate for a bit of respect. It must have been fate then that I finally crossed paths with humans again, right at my last dinar. Even my blurry eyes could tell these men were the only lifeline I had in this brutal land. Their muscular bodies were the clear result of days-long training, and they rode their horses more firmly than even the highest-ranking Abbasid generals. The middleman adorned a striking outfit, thin enough to sustain his athletic composure, but fancy enough to distinguish him as their leader. His stone-cold face emanated ferocity I had not encountered since battling the Khazars. I begged him for assistance, but he simply turned away and ordered his entourage past the barren hills. With night approaching and nowhere else to go, I promptly followed. When the guards discovered me sleeping in the dirt with my camel, I expected to be executed, a typical punishment where I live, but they instead brought me a new set of garments, indicating that I was now one of them. What little I had, I spent it just to make it this far. I sought freedom, but freedom is the least of my worries now. I could not understand their tongue, but thankfully, one of them spoke mine. As the rest of the soldiers murmured amongst each other, he said we were tasked with reclaiming territory lost to separatists, a straightforward assignment which I had executed several times under the Apposites. But whilst the rest of the soldiers concentrated on the strategic sites marked by bolded arrows, I could not help but notice an extra label in the upper left corner of the parchment separate but eerily close to the center of action. I realized that my ongoing nightmare had not yet ended. Your Highness, the road ahead is swarming with Arab marauders. They have occupied several villages across Rajasthan. That is of no concern. Let us expel them and restore honor to the Pratihara family. <laughs> Rajasthan lies in shambles! At long last, we will conquer the lands of which the caliphates of yesteryear forbid us. <laughs> We have liberated this village from Arab occupation. Its buildings are now ours to use. This desert is not suitable for farming, but we can gather the food we need by herding these animals into our mills. If we are to make our stand against the Rajputs, we will need a center of operations. There should be a town center nearby. It is likely to be well guarded, however.
Where are the villages in our grasp? Get out of here! Go away! I have received the urgent word. The Bengali Emperor Dev Par has just conquered Kamrup and now looks to us as his next target. We must make quick preparations before his elephants reach us. Get off my property, Arab scum. We have earned enough prestige to advance to the next stage, your highness. No wonder this land has grown so violent. The priests here have allowed their sacred relics to scatter across the wilderness without a proper home. I may as well rectify that. here already gave us their consent. Shoo! Tamari sila mahajar tuarit barabar. Excellent! Now that we have a foothold in Rajasthan, let us train an army and punish the traitors who defy our right to this place.
We have liberated this village from Arab occupation. Its buildings are now ours to use. My Raja, our farmers have discovered how to harvest crops in this arid climate. We have liberated this village from Arab occupation. Its buildings are now ours to use. Tamari Seva Mahajanami
Fie on you. I was just getting comfortable in my new house. Mandor has been crushed. Their proud soldiers will once again wave the Pratihara banner. समझी गई हूं करीश हूं तैयार छू शिल्पी का बुना ना ना में लाकर हाँ नमस्ते हूँ जाऊँ छू बराबर लाकर हाँ We have liberated this village from Arab occupation. Its buildings are now ours to use.
We have liberated this village from Arab occupation. Its buildings are now ours to use. have submitted. I will ensure they stay loyal. Rajasthan is ours once more, but this peace cannot last. Let us follow the palace to the treasured city of Kanaj. Though I have tried to learn the ways of my new masters, they still treat me as the same outcast I was under the Arabs. 
Had it not been for my tactical insight about our mutual enemy, they would have banished me before I could ever wield my uncorroded sword. I had continuously reassured myself that my skill as a camel rider would win the awe of the broad-shouldered horseman at my side. After about two assignments, such reassurance seems foolish. This was no traditional cavalry regiment, nor even the way of life horsemen of Khazaria. These Shirivamsha riders were so swift that they could dodge close-range projectiles and fearlessly assault their enemies from angles most would deem suicidal. If I were to dodge an unfortunate fate myself, I would have to learn the ways of the inhabitants of this arid plateau. One quiet morning, I confronted my leader near the statue he would always retreat to after dispensing his latest order of business. I hated to disrupt his quiet time, but this was the only chance I had to speak with him personally. As my footsteps rustled the nearby leaves, he turned to me with his usual bone-chilling glare. I nervously requested a formal introduction. With a long sigh and a pause, the man told me he was Mihira Boja, king of the Gurjaras. He had just inherited a realm in debt and disrepair, and every day prayed that Vishnu would help him accomplish what he could not inspire on his own. As I left him back to his self-contemplation, I realized how much of myself I saw in this seeming opposite of mine.